Hello everyone and welcome back to the ICDsoft YouTube channel. Today we're diving into a common Gmail error that many of you might have encountered. The sender must authenticate with at least one of SPF or DKIM. Don't worry if these acronyms sound confusing right now. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of what they are and how to fix this error. First off, what does this error message actually mean? Well, it's all about ensuring the security of your emails and preventing spam or phishing attempts. Let's break it down. SPF stands for Sender Policy Framework. This is an email authentication method that helps prevent sender address forgery. In simple terms, it verifies whether the server sending the email is authorized to send emails on behalf of the sender's domain. If the SMTP server used by the sender is not listed as authorized in the SPF record, Gmail may mark this email as suspicious. Next we have DKIM, Domain Keys Identified Mail. This method adds a digital signature to outgoing emails. When Gmail receives an email with a DKIM signature, it can verify that the email hasn't been altered during transit and that it indeed comes from an authorized sender. Authentication methods like SPF and DKIM are crucial because they ensure the legitimacy of emails you receive. They prevent spammers from impersonating legitimate senders and help Gmail filter out potentially harmful messages. Now let's explore why you might be encountering this error. Missing SPF record If the sending domain doesn't have an SPF record published in its DNS, the receiving mail server cannot verify the authenticity of the email, resulting in an SPF failure. Incorrect SPF record if the SPF record contains errors, such as incorrect syntax or outdated information, the receiving mail server may be unable to process the record correctly, leading to SPF failure. Having multiple SPF records could also cause such issues. Sending messages from other servers When emails are relayed through other servers that are not listed in the SPF record, SPF checks may fail as the sending IP address doesn't match any authorized IP addresses in the SPF record. Changing mail servers. If a domain changes its mail servers without updating its SPF record, the receiving servers may fail the SPF check due to the discrepancy between the authorized IP addresses and the actual sending IP address. Let me show you an actual example. We have a test domain called hectohas.com and it doesn't have an actual SPF record. Let's try to send a message to a Gmail address and see what happens. And we just received a failed delivery report from Gmail. And you can see the actual error message. This mail is unauthenticated, which poses a security risk to the sender and Gmail users and has been blocked. The sender must authenticate with at least one of SPF or DKIM. So if you've received this error, here's what you need to do to fix it. The first thing is to check if your domain has an SPF record. There are a lot of online SPF validator tools. The one we'll use is MX Toolbox, so go to mxtoolbox.com, type in SPF column yourdomain.com, and this will show you if there is an SPF record for your domain and if there are any issues with it. In our case, you can see the result no SPF record found. Another really important bit here is the actual DNS provider. The tool shows this as well. Your DNS hosting provider is Cloudflare. The thing to remember here is that the SPF record for your domain should be added at your actual DNS provider. If you are an ICDSoft customer and use our email service and DNS, SPF and DKIM should be enabled by default for your account. If we go to our hosting account control panel, navigate to the DNS manager, scroll down to the mail protection section, you can see that both SPF and DKIM protection have been enabled for our account. If for some reason that's not the case for yours, you should simply press the enable button that will appear next to each field. For example, let me just disable them right now. You can see that the records are no longer listed in here. So I just need to scroll down to the mail protection section and press the enable button next to SPF and DKIM. This will add the following record to your DNS configuration. OK. Let's also enable DKIM. DNS configuration updated successfully. However, you can also see the following notice on top. 
the following domain names are not using the name servers of this hosting account and that's actually our domain hectohas.com any records you set for them using this interface won't have any effect until you point the domain to the name servers of the hosting account so in order for the spf and dkim records to take effect you have two options switch to our dns service by updating the name servers for your domain through your actual domain registrar to do that you would have to find out who your actual domain registrar is you could use ICANN's who was lookup to enter your domain and look under registrar information that's the company you should contact in order to change the name servers for your domain to the ones listed in the dns manager of your control panel the who is lookup tool also shows your actual DNS provider that's under the domain information. Look at the actual name servers. They both belong to Cloudflare, so that's our actual DNS provider. If you don't wish to change the name servers for your domain, then the second option is to replicate these records at your current DNS provider. In our case, that's Cloudflare, and since it's quite a popular service, I'll show you how to do it there as well. Log in at cloudflare.com. Select your domain, navigate to the DNS menu, scroll down to the DNS management section where you'll find the different records currently active for your domain, press the add record button, we'll start by adding our SPF record, switch the record type to TXT, the record should be added for the root domain so enter the add symbol and now we'll need to copy the actual record value. So switch back to our DNS manager at the ICD soft control panel. That's the SPF record right there. You can identify it by this string SPF1. Highlight the actual record value, right click it and copy it. Now paste it under the Cloudflare interface and press the save button. The next thing we need to do is add our DKIM record at Cloudflare. So press the add record button again. Switch the record type to TXT. Under the name field, you should enter the subdomain for which the DKIM record has been created and that's actually known as a DKIM selector. To obtain it, go to your DNS manager at the ICD soft control panel, locate your DKIM record by the string v equals DKIM1, copy the value from the subdomain field. Now we need to paste it under the name field at Cloudflare and the last step is to copy the actual DKIM record value. So back to our DNS manager, copy this entire field and now paste it under the content field at Cloudflare. Don't forget to save the record at the end. If you are using another DNS provider for your domain, the process should be pretty much the same. You just need to log in at their interface and add these two records in the same way. Now that we've added our SPF and DKIM records at our DNS provider, let's make another test to see if the issue is fixed. Let's send another message to Gmail. And you can see that it was received successfully and we didn't get any errors. And there you have it. Understanding the sender must authenticate with at least one of SPF or DKIM error is all about ensuring the security and authenticity of your emails. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, happy mailing.